I was in a parking lot going to a fitness class with my infant daughter. I was taking, you know, the seats facing backwards in the back seat, diaper bag, you know, getting all the stuff out. And a guy walked up on me and said to me, leave Trump alone, forget the story. And then he leaned around and looked at my daughter and said, it's a beautiful little girl, it'd be a shame if something happened to her mom. And then he was gone. Yes, that statement in the uh, Stormy Daniels 60 Minutes interview could be the linchpin for future litigation against the Trump Organization and possibly President Trump himself. The focus is on the timing of this alleged threat and when Stormy Daniels signed a non-disclosure agreement. Joining us this morning with his insight on the issue is attorney Peter Walzer of Walzer Melcher Family Law. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to have you. So you've written hundreds of these non-disclosure agreements uh, in your practice. After reading the complaint that was filed by Stormy Daniels, what are a few things that really stood out to you? Well, one of the things that stood out is I don't believe she mentioned the attack or the threat to her in that complaint, which would be critical to her claim. If she signed that agreement under duress, it would be voidable. But I'm not sure that actually happened in that sequence. How, how serious is it that he didn't sign that agreement? I don't think it's critical. She accepted the money. There's a doctrine called estoppel. If you take the money, the deal is a deal. You've written a bunch of these agreements, and you've read this one. Um, what do you think of it? I think it's probably valid. People sign these all the time. There's some question, is 130000 enough? The damages are huge. If you violate this agreement, a million dollars per violation, and that's what Trump is seeking in his federal court lawsuit. Is, is 130000 enough for a million dollars in damages? Probably. She made the deal. She accepted the money. Did she have a chance to review it with an attorney? Probably not. Should she? Maybe. But that's not the law right now. So you read the counter lawsuit by attorneys uh, for President Trump. What are the three major problems that are facing them, in your opinion? Well, in that lawsuit, they want arbitration. And they'll probably get it. That's what the agreement said. Arbitration is a private proceeding mm -hmm. where there's an arbitrator like a judge who will decide, is this agreement valid? Should she pay damages of a million dollars per violation? What were the violations? I do want to point out, she says, Cohen, her, uh, Trump's attorney, violated the original agreement, so any violation that she made should not be punishable. Getting back to the original so-called hush agreement, uh, $130,000 was paid from a lawyer representing Donald Trump to Stormy Daniels. Is there a campaign finance issue with that money? Because if he actually gave it himself, isn't that a donation that he would have made to the Trump campaign well, that I don't he didn't report? I don't think it matters who made it, whether Cohen made it on his behalf, Cohen made it privately not on his behalf, he benefited from it, or Trump made it. He's got problems. He's got problems of violating election campaign rules. Now, what is the punishment? Probably a fine. So that's not a big deal, really? I don't see it as a big deal, but any of these trails could lead to problems for Trump. And is there a precedent for something like this? Yes, it's happened before. State senators who have made campaign contributions, but basically they get away with it, they pay fines, they don't go to jail for it. It probably won't lead to an impeachment, but I don't see that as his major problem. The major problem he has is discovery, like what happened in the Paula Jones case a with deposition. Clinton. A deposition. I mean, do you, how likely do you think that they are going to succeed in getting him to give a deposition? I think it's likely. Really? I think, I mean, and that's where I'm it's a problem. I, I'm really immune to this sort of thing. Well, he's not immune in a private suit like this one. Clinton wasn't immune. Paula Jones is what brought Clinton down, and this is what could bring Trump down, too. And do you think that's their aim? I think that's their aim. Okay. Peter Walzer is a partner of Walzer Melcher Family Law with locations in Woodland Hills and Santa Monica. For more information, you can check out their website there. Thanks to Peter for coming in. Thank, Thank you very you much. Coming.